twelfth Sunday after Pentecost. The Parable of the Good Samaritan. In nomine patre, et filiae, et spiritus sancte. Amen. Twelfth Lord's Day after Pentecost. Dominus vobis cum. Et cum spiritu tuo. Sequentia sancti evangelii secundum. Continuation of the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke, Chapter 10. Gloria te obi Domini. In ilio tempore. At the time, Jesus said unto his disciples, Blessed are the eyes which see the things that ye see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them. And behold a certain lawyer stood up, tempting him, and saying, Master, what must I do to possess eternal life? But he said to him, What is written in the law? How readest thou? He answering, said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with thy whole heart, and with thy whole soul, and with all thy strength, and with all thy mind, and thy neighbor as thyself. And he said to him, Thou hast answered right, this do, and thou shalt live. But he willing to justify himself, said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? And Jesus answering, said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and fell among robbers, who also stripped him and having wounded him went away, leaving him half dead. And it chanced, that a certain priest went down the same way, and seeing him, passed by. In like manner also a Levite, when he was near the place and saw him, passed by. But a certain Samaritan being on his journey, came near him, and seeing him, was moved with compassion. And going up to him, bound up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine, and setting him upon his own beast brought him to an inn, and took care of him. And the next day he took out two pence, and gave to the host, and said, Take care of him. And whatsoever thou shalt spend over and above, I, at my return, will repay thee. Six which of these three, in thy opinion, was neighbor to him that fell among the robbers? But he said, He that shewed mercy to him. And Jesus said to him, Go, and do thou in like manner. Laus te be Christe. Sermon of the Venerable Bede, Priest at Jaro. Blessed were the eyes not of scribes and Pharisees, which saw but the body of the Lord, but those eyes, eyes blessed indeed, which were able to see those things whereof it is written. Thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes. Blessed are the eyes of those little ones unto whom it seemeth good in the eyes of the Son to reveal himself and the Father also. Abraham rejoiced to see the day of Christ. And he saw it, and was glad, Isaiah and Micah, and many among the prophets, saw the glory of the Lord, wherefore also they be called seers, but all they beheld it and hailed it afar off, seeing but as through a glass, darkly. Otherwise were the apostles, who saw the Lord face to face, eating with him, and learning from him by asking whatsoever they listed. For them there was no need to be taught by angels or the shifting fabric of visions. They whom Luke doth call prophets and kings, Matthew and Amoth as prophets and righteous men. Righteous men are indeed mighty kings, who know how to lord it over their own rebellious temptations, instead of falling under them to become their slaves. And, behold, a certain lawyer stood up, and tempted him, saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? This lawyer, who stood up to ask the Lord a tempting question touching eternal life, took the subject of his asking, as I think, from the words which the Lord had just uttered, when he said, Rejoice, because your names are written in heaven. But his attempt was a proof of the truth of that which the Lord immediately added. I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes. O Remus! Almighty and merciful God, of whose only gift it cometh that thy faithful people do unto thee true and laudable service, grant, we beseech thee, that we may so faithfully serve thee in this life, that we fail not finally to attain thy heavenly promises. Through our Lord Jesus Christ thy Son, who liveth and reigneth with thee, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Potter, et filius, et spiritus sanctus. Amen.